welcome back to the video on my channel. So today is a little bit different of a setup. I've recently done a Q&A in this setup as well. I don't know if that will be already up on my channel. If it is, I'll link the Q&A video down below. But I am doing a haul video. So I've done loads of haul videos in the past, but I've just had the camera facing down just showing you the products. But I've got, <laughs> I've bought a lot of stuff basically. So I thought I would show you like this quickly get through it all, show you everything I've bought, and then what I thought is you could guys could comment down below and tell me what you'd like a more of an in-depth look at, so I can do a video just basically on one of those products. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So I've got a massive box full of stuff that I've bought in the last two weeks, week-ish. I have got a load of other new stuff in, but this video is going to be too long if I show you everything, everything. So I'll show you the most recent purchases. So I'll start with something that has literally just been released. Well, when I'm filming this video, it's just been released. And they are the Magpie Pastel Gel Colour Collection. So I use Magpie gels anyway. They are absolutely gorgeous. I've got them all behind me there with the little butterfly rings on them. So I had to have the new collection. So I bought this I think it is a seven piece collection. Apologies if I sound like I've got cold, I haven't. I'm just full of hay fever. I suffer really bad with hay fever. So you probably hear it in all my voiceovers and in all my videos I sound like I've got a cold the whole time, but I haven't, I've just got really bad hay fever all the time. So anyway, back to what I was saying, I picked up the Magpie gel collection. You get Seven colours in this collection and they are absolutely gorgeous. So I'll just run through the colours. So the first one I've got here is Oopsie Daisy and this colour is a gorgeous like white shimmer. It's kind of like their Magpie Dust Daisy which is this here. It's basically like the gel polish version of Daisy Dust. So that's really cool. I love that. You've also got Leap of Faith, which is a baby pink with a slight lilac, cool, bluey undertone to it. The next one is Genie in a Bottle. And this colour is a gorgeous kind of bluey, turquoisey, greeny, pastel colour, more so on the blue side. Next up, you've got Life of Riley. Life of Riley is a gorgeous blue with a lilac undertone to it. It's absolutely stunning. Next one is Busy Bee, and Busy Bee is a stunning baby yellow, but it's got kind of a greeny tinge to it, which I'm obsessed with. One for your nude fans out there, this is O oh Sandy, and it is a sandy nude, slightly more on the taupe side. And then lastly, but certainly not least, you've got Mayday, and Mayday is a pale coral colour, and it's slightly towards the nude side, so that's really nice. If you want to see a swatch video of those seven Magpie gel colours, I can do that for you. Let me know down below if you'd like to see a swatch of those Magpie gel colours and a comparison to all the other ones. I do have all of the Magpie gel colours, so I can compare them to what's already in the collection to see if some of them are similar or that kind of thing. So if you want to see that, let me know down below. Okay, next up I've got some acrylic products. So recently CJP had a little offer on of some of their core acrylic powders. They were half price. So I stocked up on some of them and then I also got some of their new coloured acrylics which are blooming gorgeous. So I got six of their coloured acrylics. I got Smashed Peach which is a nice peach colour. Next up I got Watermelon which is kind of a pinky, reddy kind of colour. Slightly more on the lighter side. Then the next one I got is Opium Noir. This is a winter shade for sure but I love winter shades in the summer so I had to get this one. Next one I got is Lilac Lustre, and this is a pale lilac colour, like it says in the name. Next one I got is Elderberry, and this is a beautiful, kind of purpley, magenta -y kind of colour. And then lastly, I got Tooth Fairy, which is a shimmery pink. I love this one. Everyone loves shimmery pinks. Okay, and then for the core powders I got, I got the new Slush Fairy. I always buy them in the 50 gram tubs. They're, I just find them easier when I have them out my nail desk and working. They're easier to work from. They don't take up too much room. So I got Slush Fairy, which is a like pinky nude with a glitter through it. Can't wait to try that. 
And I also got the new white, which is coconut milk, which I think is a soft kind of white color. Perfect for if you want to do baby boomers, that kind of thing. I've seen loads of people do baby boomers with slush berry and coconut milk together and creating a fade and it looks so good. So I had to get them. And then three acrylics that are on offer that I picked up, so they were half price, was peach sorbet, which is a beautiful, opaque, completely opaque, peach nude colour, perfect cover pink. I also got a more, this is a stunning baby pink cover pink. My absolute favourite baby pink cover pink. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. And then I also got birthday suit, an oldie but a goodie. You can't be without birthday suit. It is the perfect warm tone nude, goes with every single skin tone. Love it. Let me know if you want a video on those acrylics. I can do proper swatches of those and a proper review on all of those comparing to other colours I've already got. Same goes with everything in this video. If there's anything you want to see more of, anything you want an in-depth review or swatches on, just let me know and I can do that for you guys. So then I got some stamping kind of things. So I got this Dixie stamper. This is the stamper, I believe, that you can um, shrink images with. So you would stamp it, take the head out of the stamper and it makes the image smaller. So if you've got someone that's really tiny nails or you just want to make an image smaller, that is what you'd use this for. So I picked that up and I'm going to give that a go. And then I also got two replacement heads for my Dixie Diamond Duo Stamper. If you know me, if you watch my videos, you know I'm obsessed with the Dixie Diamond Duo Clear Stamper. Probably saying the name wrong but I'm just too excited about it because it's my favourite. It is so good, it's my favourite go-to stamper. It's perfect for double stamping and triple stamping because you can layer up those images and you can see straight through exactly where you're placing it. But it's also just my favourite in general. It picks up the image so crisp every single time with all different brands of plates, it's my favourite. So I've just picked up two spare stamp heads for it because quite often with my longer nail clients that have really sharp long nails, I do tend to shove the stamper into the end of the nails and split the stamper. So be careful, they are very delicate and you need to look after them. But yeah, I think these are slightly squishier as well. They're more sticky and squishy, so compared to um, what is already on the stamper. So I'll have to see how I get on with those. Okay, next thing I got, and this is Sarah R's fault here on YouTube, or um, you may know her as The Real Mrs. Grey, or... Um, she owns um, Stampy Queen UK, which is where I purchase all of my Hit The Bottle stamping polishes from, Dixie plates, glitters, I mean, she's got loads of stuff on there. But she did a video here on YouTube, she's Sarah R on YouTube, I'll leave her channel in the description box just below. She's recently done a video using these babies. I was halfway through the video of her using these and I had to click off the video, order them and then go back to the video and watch it because... I just had to have them. I'll get a couple of colours out. So they are from the Colour Shack. On, I bought them on eBay. And they are pigments. But they are not just any pigments. They are like a fine shimmer pigment. They've got a, like a pearlescent finish to them. And you have in the set. So I got the, I think this was around 12, 13 pounds. And they are in 5ml jars. And you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight colours in there. Eight colours. And they are just so bright. I mean, look at this bright neon yellow. Like, it's stunning. Green. Absolutely stunning. I can't wait to play around them. So, yeah, this is Sarah's fault that I bought these. But they look absolutely beautiful. So, I'm so happy. I would also link everything in the description box down below that I bought and that I'm showing you in this video. So if you want to go check them out, you can do. So everything will be in the description box. Okay, second to last. So we're getting there, we're getting through it. I bought some bits from Clear Jelly Stamper. So Clear Jelly Stamper recently, I say recently, a couple of months ago, but I'm late on the bandwagon, brought out a new stamper like this. So it has got two stampers and this little joining crystally bit which is so cute the idea is that it is smaller for your smaller images on layered stamping they are known for their layered stamping plates and they have so many and they also have a clear jelly stamper which is bigger than this it's a lot bigger and fatter good for the whole nail designs so they came out with this guy so you've got a really tiny two ends a medium end and a tiny end for stamping those small images just to make it easier. So I thought I'd pick it up and give it a go and see what it's like. 
And then whilst I was there, I had to get two new plates. One of the plates I've been wanting for so long and I saw it was in stock. I get these from Nail Dot Supplies um, for the UK because um, this is where you can get clear jelly stamper plates in the UK. So this is what it is, is clear jelly stamper. And I got two plates. So the first one is the one that I've been wanting for ages, but they didn't have it in stock until the other day. This is the mandala plate. They have two mandala plates. They have one which is fully formed mandala plates. And then they have this layered one, and you can create different coloured mandalas. So I really wanted this one. This is the collaboration with Monisha M, if I'm saying that right. And it's the Clear Jelly Stamper Large Plate number 18. Then, they also recently released this new plate, which is a bee plate and an insect plate, and I'm obsessed. I love anything to do with bees. This is the Clear Jelly Stamper 68 plate, I think that's what it says. And this is just full of little tiny bees. It's got honeycomb on it, it's got daisies on it. It's got the little drips with the bees, so that could be really cool. And it's got different sized bugs, and oh, I'm I just love it. It's perfect for summer. And last but certainly not least, I got a whole ton of glitters. So this company I have recently discovered and I'm obsessed. I keep ordering from them and I can't stop myself because I'm a magpie and I like anything glittery. So this is, the company is Glitter Arty Nails and I ordered a ton of glitters. So. I ordered some mermaid sequin scale type things. They're absolutely stunning. I ordered a really fine glitter, which is Unicorn Mane, and it's number 008. And it's beautiful. It's got like dark purple and teal and gold and magenta kind of glitters through it. Really nice, like burnishing on the top of a sticky layer of gel polish. I also got a special blend glitter called Melrose Place, and this is a stunning lilac and kind of turquoisey pale blue glitter it's absolutely stunning and all of the glitters come in a little bag like this and you can choose whether you want them in a bag or a pot it's a 10 ml pot versus a five gram bag i always go for a five gram bag only because i decant them into my own storage and my own pot i'm going to do a video of how i store all my glitters because i have a lot of glitters and I like to put them in their own pots with their own labels. So they're all together. Every brand has their own little container. And yes, yeah, so it's nice and organized so I know exactly where I'm reaching. I also got a couple of the glitters from the Iridescent Square collection. And, the, and it is multi-mix orange and multi-mix pink. They are absolutely stunning. I am gonna get the rest of the collection now that I've seen these. I love that they're little square glitters. It's so unique and so different compared to most glitter mixes. I also got this stunning glitter and this is Mega Mix Fin of Mermaid. It is quite a chunky glitter as well, which I really like, but it does have some smaller glitters, which makes it so much easier to use. I then got three glitters from the Holographic Square Multi-Mix collection. I got Light Pink, which is a rose gold. I got Vintage Gold, which is a kind of a warm gold, verging on copper. And then I also got Firework, which is a beautiful magenta. Again, they all have these stunning little squares in them. They are all holographic and absolutely fabulous. I love how unique these are and I'm definitely going to order more from the collection. So next up I got another special blends glitter and this is Copacabana. I saw this glitter and I had to have it. It is gold with magenta and blue glitters in it. They work so well together. They're so complimentary. I, it's just lovely. The next glitter I got is called Miss Glamorphous and it is a multi-mix. Multi-mix is definitely my favourite um, size glitters for embedding in gel and acrylic. It's just the easiest to work with and I find it's the, the most effective. If I want to use a chunkier glitter, I will lay one of these down first and then put the chunky glitter over the top to give it a good base. But yeah, I love multi-mix glitters, they're my faves. And then I also got the multi-mix chameleon red and gold, which is like an iridescent -y shift kind of colour. Really stunning for like autumn, winter. And lastly, but certainly not least, I got four of the Free Knickers collection. 
and just the name it makes me happy and made me want to buy them so i got hot pink lilac mint green and purple so you can see here the four colors they are all completely matte and they have inside they have little tinsel bits they have round bits of glitter they have diamonds and they have hexagonal shapes in them i absolutely love these they have a few more colors in this collection as well and they are so effective and if you put them with a contrasting color over the top they create such an effective almost lacy kind of effect i absolutely love these i think these are my favorite out of the whole bunch I'm pretty sure these are half price at the moment so go get yourself a bargain yeah that is everything in my box my box is empty so i've shown you everything i've bought I really hope you enjoyed this different kind of setup for a haul. Let me know what you think of how this video went, or if you prefer me just to have my camera face down showing you the products without my face in it, without me nattering away. I look forward to seeing you again in my next video. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!